thanks to EA for making this video possible. Hey guys, my name is Angelia. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're not, welcome back. We are here with the 100 baby challenge. I did go ahead and move out our two young adults that we had, and now we are here with the little toddlerinos. Of which, it looks like she is pretty close to being able to be aged up into a child. She is not, because she just recently aged up. Also, apparently, I didn't fix some of her CCs, so that's awkward. She should also be able to go into labor pretty darn soon, or so I'm hoping, but she's just walking away and ignoring us. But anyway, so she is playing with blocks, trying to get her movement skill up, and then this little one is, ooh, thinking level two that actually should be all that we needed. Oh no, she needs communication. Oh my god, I thought she already had the <laughs> rud. Okay, go just go babble to these things for a little bit. Listen, I know you gotta use the potty, but <laughs> I really want you to age up. She's doing great though. She needs movement to think and there's labor. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I also did a little bit of rearranging. I'm going to go ahead and pause that. I moved Peggy's desk right here instead of having it downstairs in the basement just so she could access a little bit easier because she can't use it up here because the bed was in the way and all that fun stuff. So, oh, she's actually in bed. I put in the little costume chest down there. I also, I did something else. Oh, I added the bear rug <laughs> from Love Struck down there. I thought that was kind of funny. So that's what we did. I also added in the little game puzzle box that we got from Love Struck. But miss, you need to go ahead and have this baby. And I'm actually going to use the Cupid's Corner app to potentially meet the next baby dad. Oh, that, that dress just be glitching because she's so freaking pregnant right now. <laughs> like she is huge. It's a boy. I'm going to go ahead and name him Nick. For <laughs> Can you tell I'm obsessed with Grimm, by the way? I'm going to name him Nick after Nick Burkhart from Grimm because why not? You know, communication level two. Okay, oh my gosh, so many things are happening. Your reputation is everything in the business world. Uh, no, no, thank you. That is not what I want. Okay, who just reached level two? You did. So you, <gasps> you could be aged up. <laughs> yes. Okay, we won less toddler. That was my goal. I don't, I don't like having a bunch of toddlers and then the infants all at once. It's just, it's hectic. It's crazy. And I, I can't do it. Can't make me. Some more choices. Let's help blow out candles for Miss Lucy over here. Here, stop talking to that thing. It's fine. Mama's gonna age you up and then you can start taking care of your own needs. How great is that gonna be? It's gonna be splendiferous for me, frankly. Is splendiferous even a word or am I just making so something up? Is that from Pooh Bear? <laughs> is that what Tigger says? Oh yeah, she she needs a bath too because she has a dirty diaper. So that's, that's real awkward for her. Happy birthday, little Lucy. You gotta go over there? Are you gonna... Are you gonna do the thing? Are you gonna spin? Okay, there we go. I was a little bit scared. Colton has sent Lucy a gift. Cool. Aw, she's a dog lover. That's cute. I'm gonna give her social just because she loves doggies. <gasps> she's adorable. She doesn't match, but you know what? She's a kid. It's fine. She's so cute. Oh, I love her. Yeah, go to the bathroom. She's also really sad. Is she doing a pizza? Oh, no. These things are like the ultimate fire starters, I swear. <laughs> They scare me. I don't like them. How are you doing? You're sad. What is this? Tired of blocks. Well, that is unfortunato for you. Do you still have the freaking Wabbit tablet? You probably... Nope, you don't. I found it. She left it on the floor, apparently. Oh my lord, we're getting so many gifts in the mail, which is probably a good thing. So, Miss... Peggy, even though you left the freaking pizza in the pizza oven, we should join Cupid's Corner and see what we get. Because... This is important for her. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a game changer, especially for 100 Baby. I, I don't have time right now, Nessa. You just moved out. I don't have the time. Oh, she looks so cute. I'm going to keep that. I mean, I will probably leave the self-absorbed. What, what else does she have, though, <laughs> that isn't self-absorbed? You know what? I think Great Kisser is probably a really nice one. Let's not do single and loving it. I don't know if they would be impressed by her having a steel bladder either. <laughs> So let's do a great kisser. Should we leave good? I think good is kind of, I like that one. We'll leave good. We can leave elders as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Why do we keep getting like Santa type Sims? I don't understand. It's so random. Chester, hello. I keep forgetting that I have the mod that lets me refresh the matches all the time. We already had a baby with you. I feel like that's gonna happen a lot, isn't it? Because so many people in the world are ones that she's had kids with. So that's awkward. Did we have a baby with Clyde? Who was Clyde? Yeah, we did have a baby with Clyde. I just double checked. I might have to add new Sims. <laughs> 
for this to actually work. So I don't actually know who this person is, so I'm just going to add them and hope for the best in terms of like, oh yeah, we definitely had a babe with you. Okay, I added quite a few people to her little list. I kind of wish they would separate it from like, these are people you know from Cupid's Corner. That'd be kind of cool. But I did go ahead and add some people. So, well, I added them to her like favorites list. So hopefully that goes well. We really do need to start romancing someone. I'm trying to see who... So we could romance any, any one of these guys from the Dadarinos Club, but I kind of really want to do something from Cupid's Corner. So maybe let's try talking to someone from there. I keep having to reopen it because I'm, I'm dumb and... <laughs> oh, I don't... See, I feel like some of these townies I definitely have not seen before. Panya, Panya. I like Gilbert's hair. Alfredo looks kind of fun. Let's, let's add to contacts. And let's get chatting with him. We're not supposed to really leave the house in 100 Baby, which is kind of upsetting. But we could maybe ask on a date here and have it at the house. That could potentially work. Okay, so I started a date. We're doing a romantic date. We have like flirting and all of that. So I'm hoping this goes well. Oh my gosh, she's just making stuff up a storm. Stop it. Stop it. I'm gonna have to get rid of those. <laughs> oh wait, I need to check on my kids. I need I need to like check in on them and make sure they're all okay. You need to do your homework, ma'am. You are doing stuff over here. Everyone's super sad from the all the deaths in the family, which is highly unfortunate. Okay, this guy is here though. So... We're going to start flirting. We're gonna we're gonna joke about politicians, sure. I don't particularly care. <laughs> but we also really need to get to know him. Discuss healthy relationships, sure. That's fine. Discuss your interests. Do all of that fun thing. Okay, so she's asking him about like his interests and what he finds attractive in a partner, I'm pretty sure. At least I think that's what I clicked on. Looks aren't everything, but I, this is what I do like. Blah, blah, blah. Outdoorsy, preppy, gray hair, country fashion. Well, she don't have gray hair. She's a brunette, but <laughs> that's fine. Relationship. Let's go ahead. Let's make sure he's single. I would assume if you're on a dating app, you're probably single, but what do I know? I'm sure there are some people that aren't, but that's not, you know, I wouldn't be personally. Is single. Woohoo. Okay. What do we need to do? We need a small talk. We need a flirt. We need to do all the things. So friendly. Let's discuss our interests again. Let's start doing some flirting things. I'm glad my interactions are actually working, which is nice. <laughs> Oh, right. Where is... Let's compliment his mighty fine garb. Oh no, the baby's upset. Uh oh. Okay, we're gonna do super efficient newborn care. What is happening? Okay, I don't care about the mail. We have a lot of stuff we need to get done. I totally forgot it's talk like a freaking pirate day. We're gonna get rid of that because <laughs> it annoys me. Wait, did I get rid of the date? Oh my gosh, I just almost... Oh, I was stressing myself out. I thought I got rid of it on accident. I was like, that's not what I wanted at all. I don't care about Talk Like a Pirate Day. Look at her. She did her homework. You're such a good kiddo. You need to get some food though. So why don't you go ahead and have a quick meal of some cereal? There you go. You can get it from this fridge. Okay, little one is still okay. She's still working on that thinking skill. Hopefully it goes well. I would really love to be able to age her up in this part too, but... I'm not, I don't have my hopes up terribly high at the moment. So I, I did add woohoo as a thing because I, obviously I want them to try for a baby in this part. Because that's the whole goal, right? Of the 100 baby challenge. Let's go ahead and do some more flirting. Let's compliment his appearance. We acquired the romance skill. I feel like Peggy is going to be like number one at romance. <laughs> if only because it's, it's the 100 baby challenge. It's... It's a thing. Let's go ahead and ask about personality attraction. We're supposed to be doing some more small talk, so friendly. So his turn-ons are engineering skills. He doesn't like career-minded, self-employed, performance. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> but you're unemployed? <laughs> what? <laughs> How does that make any sense? Discuss woohoo in books? Sure, that that's fine. Does that count as talking about woohoo? I'm not sure. Oh, thanks, Raul. Let's go ahead and keep flirting. It did count as that. Okay, we're gonna keep flirting and trying to get this going here because we definitely need that to happen. Oh my gosh, you can ask to wear couples costumes. <laughs> we're totally gonna do it. I'm just <laughs> I feel like after so long in this challenge, Peggy needs, needs some fun in her life. She's getting really hungry. I'm gonna have her get some leftovers and maybe also extend the date. Let's ask to extend date just so we have a little bit more time to spend with him. More time for Ronda. Oh, he liked it. Make the most of, the of these additional moments or ask for more time. Romantic sex fashion begins. <gasps> Penny and Alfredo have strong romantic relationship while now each have independent romance, romantic satisfaction levels. High romantic satisfaction will make maintaining romantic relationships easier. Low romantic, blah, blah, blah. Will make 
more difficult. I cannot speak today, but I'm curious. Because now we have like that little thing. I haven't gotten to really see it too much. So Peggy's feelings about him are neutral. We don't know about his towards her. So I kind of want to ask. So I'm going to ask his attraction level and see how we're doing here. Oh my gosh, all of my kids keep calling. <laughs> I don't have time right now, okay? I don't have time. How are you? Not great, actually. Um, okay, I took care of the kiddos real quick. She's gonna go upstairs and make some crafts and the other little one's gonna use the potty, so we are good to go. I don't even know what they're chit-chatting about. Oh, they're still actually- she's still asking him the attraction level. I'm very curious. Attraction, you're all right. I guess I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with you. That's a little rude. <laughs> Let's ask about romantic satisfaction, I guess. Probably pretty neutral at this point. We're gonna keep flirting. We have to share interests again. Didn't we just do that like a billion times? Interests. Feeling fine. Great. <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling fine. That's what every person wants to hear is I feel fine. Oh, he keeps like flirting back with her too, which is great. I wonder if we have enough for a first kiss as she's like stuffing her face with a freaking grilled cheese. Honestly, same. Oh, he got some confidence. Okay. They just keep flirting. It's actually really cute. Are you guys gonna do the first kiss or you're just gonna keep ignoring me here? Is this gonna work? Please work. It did totally work. Okay. We are good to go. We got the first kiss. I don't know if they can quite woohoo just yet, but we are going to try, maybe? It says they can woohoo in the blanket. Can they try for a baby in the blanket? <laughs> try for a baby, yes. I haven't gotten to see this yet. What do you want? No. <laughs> I feel bad because like the babies are all really upset, but we gotta make this happen. Oh, unknown caller. Hi there, you don't know me, but I saw you from afar and asked a mutual friend for your number. I hope you don't mind. I'm just, I'm hopelessly attracted to you. I brought up some chill. Would you like to meet me? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, that's sweet. I think I added this person in my Cupid thing. I sort of falling for Peggy. Was, no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Ash has learned that Peggy's a stay-at-home mom. Very sad. I don't even know you. Do I know you? Do I have a kid with you? <laughs> I might. I don't know. Anyways, I haven't seen this interaction, so I'm very curious to see it, actually. I like. Uh, yeah, I had a plunk in the basement because I don't... Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Oh. Oh. They're like a little bear burrito. Oh my gosh, this thing is just like burritoing all over the place. <laughs> Apparently what I have decided to call it right now. Okay, but like the little like laying there interactions are actually really, really cute. I'm gonna have her quickly take a test before we deal with the baby. They're both very satisfied. That's great. Woohoo! Okay, she's already pregnant, so you can go now. Thanks for the date. Thank you for meeting me from Cupid's Corner. Your contribution will not be ignored. <laughs> Reward earned. Heck yeah. Okay, we should really go take care of this freaking child, though. This child is not happy. Please go do some super efficient care. Now I can focus on my babies. Oh my god, you are exhausted and you need you need food. You need a lot of stuff right now, kiddo. Wait, this guy's at my house? You just showed up? Okay, after quickly scanning through my list of baby dads, I actually do not have any sort of romantic bar with him. Well, I don't, but Peggy doesn't. Anyway, I am going to feed this little toddlerino with her glitchy hair, get her all ready and pop her into bed because she is exhausted. She needs some attention from mom, but I need to get her fed, which I feel like is a little bit more important. She is taking a nap. I just took care of the little one. What's the matter with you? You're getting like the heebie-jeebies or something? What's the matter? Picky eater. Great. <laughs> That's all we need. Let's do a romantic introduction. We might as well just line up for <laughs> the next kid, right? So I'm thinking definitely around like 70, 75-ish kids, maybe. We'll switch matriarchs, but for now we're sticking with Peggy. I don't know if I'm going to keep this house. We might, I might end up designing a new one. I haven't quite decided yet, but we'll figure that out. Did you even like talk to this dude? No, you just went to bed. You just ignored me. Why are you going downstairs? He's right there. You are just ignoring everything I'm telling you to do. Okay, how about you, can you tuck her into bed? Here, go read Claire to sleep. If you're not gonna flirt with that dude, you can at least do that. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge because she didn't even bother eating it. This is chaos. Oh my gosh, I was wondering why I couldn't fast forward through the night. Freaking Blake is here. <laughs> 
just as a ghost hanging out, but we can't talk. Everyone is freaking exhausted. She's had to wake up a few times to deal with Nick here, which it is his birthday technically today, so we could age him up, which is fun. What are- oh no. <laughs> Oh no. We just need three more for her to age up. I kind of want to try to do it in this part. Luckily, Blake is here for her to talk to so we can get the communication up talking to Blake and she gets to talk to grandma, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna have her sing a little song. I think she's pretty close. Let me, let me see. No, we're like halfway to communication. Not great. I thought something was broken. I think it's just that right there. I thought something was like glitching, like that little sparky thing. We're gonna have her hug Blake. We're just gonna chit chat with her, do kid stuff, babble about our sibling like a bazillion times. Okay, she's talking about a duck or a goose. I'm not entirely sure. This is literally what I'm just sitting here watching is, are these two because everyone else is asleep, but it's kind of nice because it makes it a little bit easier to just focus on her. Oh, she even got level two of the movement skill. Heck yes. Okay, so then we just need thinking, which is also already almost up. Wait, what is happening here? Are you giving her a bath? Okay. <laughs> Blake's like, listen, I was the world's best mom, so I'm gonna take care of her. Look at her little bathing suit. I haven't really fixed any of their other outfits because in 100 Baby, they age up so fast. Like, it's just kind of pointless to touch really anything else aside from like maybe sleeper in every day. But that's so cute. Lucy has a loose tooth. <gasps> My girl! I think though she is all sleeped out. Yeah, she, her energy is fine. For some reason I thought today was Monday in game. No, it's Sunday so we have time for her to, you know, get her skills up. You meeting your sibling? You're sad. <laughs> Lucy. Well, the bathroom. You can, you can take a shower in mom's shower. Why are you not taking care of this child? Hey, no, you're not playing anything. You get back here. <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna go play a game. I am curious as to what she's ha- oh. As to what she's having, but I don't, I also don't want to check. I kind of want it to be a surprise. <laughs> you, ma'am, you need, still need communication. <laughs> okay, she got her communication up. Now we just need thinking, which actually she's doing by going to watch mom, which is nice. So hopefully that'll help. Did Blake just get out food and not eat it? I'm pretty sure. Where are you going? Why'd you come up here? Wait, she, I think she just did it. Does she have everything at level two now? Yes. <laughs> Perfect, we did it. I didn't even try. I just had her watch mom for like a second and it worked. So I am very pleased about that. Also, do you like how we just keep using the same nasty cake? Are you gonna put that somewhere? She used the dishwasher, the trash can, and this, and she just broke something. Great. Well, help Claire blow out some candles because we have another child. She's so upset. I feel so bad. I'm trying, kid. I'm trying. I kind of gave her a little bit of like a Snow White look because I thought it was really cute on her. Oh, <sighs> child, I am so sorry. Yeah, add birthday candles to the same crusty cake that keeps getting used. Why can't I drag anything right now? She aged up. I don't want her to be a glutton. Music lover works fine. Let's see. She's named after Claire from Resident Evil. Let's do motor for her. I feel like that works. There we go. Now I can pick up the cake. That's so weird. It just was not letting me. Anyways, I think we're going to- Oh, look at her outfit. She looks adorable. Look at her little sharky shoes. <laughs> She's so cute. Hi. You're adorable, ma'am. You don't, you don't look very happy at all, but you're adorable. But I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Quite a bit happened. We had a lot of aging up. We, we did Cupid's Corner. She's pregnant again. We don't know what we're having. So if you have any like fandom names, boy or girl, leave them down below and we'll pick from that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.